Uh, hi, I'm Bryce Jasmer. Um, I want to talk about uh, SEO contributors, or one in particular. Um, SEO is search engine optimization. It's basically you trying to get your company's website uh, on as many places as possible so that you rank higher in Google searches. Um, and there are companies that will do this on contract for you. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing for SEOs to exist, but uh, when they don't follow best practices, it's not such a good thing, and especially when they don't respond to any feedback. Yeah. Uh, about a year ago, I was looking at the new Mappers channel in Slack, and I wanted to clean up everything that was in my state, so whenever I saw a new Mapper come on board, I would take a look at their changes. And I noticed a pattern of uh, user names that were pretty much equal to the, the single business name that they created. So they would throw a POI on there and it'd be the same name as their username. Um, and these had a lot of errors and there was uh, uh, some that were, they were very similar in how their errors were done. Um, some things like street abbreviations were bad, like they would do street or road and, as RD and ST. Uh, opening hours would be kind of free formats, uh, uppercase key names, and they wouldn't have, uh, you know, like shop equals insurance, uh, what I call a feature key. Um, and uh, so, and there's a bunch of other stuff, I'll get to that later. And why are you up back? Um, so I wanted to find the source of these so I could stop doing hand edits and try to get them to correct it at the source. Um, so I could uh, reduce the, the amount of work that I had. So I started calling up this POI uh, phone numbers that were listed. And uh, it's kind of hard to get information out of them. They're like, who are you and why are you calling me? And it's like, well, I'm kind of with OSM. I don't work for OSM. Um, it was also hard to find the right person to talk to. You know, when you call a, a, a car repair shop, they're like, uh, I don't know, I fix cars. So I kind of I came up with this term internet marketing person and that, that got me to the right person once in a while. But it was also difficult to get them to uh, like understand who I was and why I wanted this and they didn't want to share it with me. But uh, I kept on trying and I eventually found some. And pretty soon, uh, this name kept on bubbling to the top, E Gumball. Uh, I don't know if any of you have heard of them. Um, so I would do change set comments to, to all of these that I found and saying, hey, you know, I want to get a hold of you. Can we please talk? Um, I started calling them and I, I eventually kind of worked through their phone system. I, I pretended I was a customer and then I kind of said, can I talk to a manager? Can I talk to their manager? Um, and I found a lady who had actually listened to me. And uh, I, I talked for about 15 minutes and told her all the stuff that was wrong with what they were doing and how I wanted to improve them and make them a better citizen. Um, and she's like, okay, send me an email. So I, I wrote up the entire conversation and sent them an email. Never heard back. A week later, I followed up, followed up again, nothing. So uh, um, at that point, I went to the DWG. So I, I put together, I gathered a script, and I looked at all the, the mappers for three months, I think. And uh, built this big spreadsheet and uh, gave them strikes uh, for all these various things you saw earlier. Uh, and uh, many of the bad ones kind of bubbled up to the top and you could tell they were all kind of the same, the same group, the same company, eGumball. Uh, the goal was to get them, to, uh, DWG, to shut them down by either maybe they were coming from the same IP block or uh, maybe they use the same registered email address, which we as uh, regular people can't see. Um, but then uh, DWG got back to me and said, no, that's kind of not the way it is. Uh, they're, they're coming from many different IPs. They have many different email addresses. So, okay, I plan B at that point. Um, I thought maybe if I delete all of their point of uh, the POIs, maybe that would get their attention because they're not going to want to spend money on a contractor to add all of this information to get indexed if I delete it before they can even get it indexed. So I converted my analysis script into a, a, a review and deletion tool, and uh, that's what I call the big hammer. Um, so every day I would run through this uh, when I'd wake up in the morning, and uh, I, would, I, would, I would process the day's uh, new mappers, and I would see uh, what their score was, and I'd have all these little uh, three-letter codes that would kind of help me know, oh, uh, they came in uh, strange hours. They came in the middle of the night, and that was kind of indicative of being in India. So I would look at uh, uh, some of the different attributes and I'd say, yeah, that looks bad. And I would, I would say, yes, go ahead and delete it. And it would delete it if it's, uh, nobody else had changed it. Uh, and at the same point, I, I, I kept on trying to get in hold of them. And I, uh, using my LinkedIn connections, I figured I either knew somebody there or knew somebody who knew somebody there. Um, and I eventually got a name and I talked to the person I know who knew him. And uh, I reached out to that person. and. Couldn't get a hold of them, try to pass messages through uh, the one person I had managed to talk to at uh, eGumball. When I eventually mentioned the big hammer, saying, you know, well, I'm deleting your information, that kind of got things rolling. And uh, 
they put me in touch with a, an IT dev manager there. And we actually had a great conversation. I was, I was surprised, to say the least. Uh, he had heard of a OSM, and he was willing to help. And I was very happy to hear that. Um, but there was a problem. Uh, he sent me back some emails saying they did some checking, and they couldn't find them using uh, OpenStreetMaps anywhere. It's like, oh, great. OK, so maybe I've got the wrong person. Maybe, maybe my calls uh, yielded the wrong information. So I started calling more POIs to gather some more uh, data for him. Made over 50 calls. Uh, once again, hard to get to the right person, hard to get them to, to confide in me who they're using. Uh, but I finally got enough uh, samples to say, yeah, it, it was Egon Ball. And I went back to the guy and I, uh, and I said, you know, here are the companies that are the problem. Uh, and he went to uh, some other resources inside the company at that point. And he also did find that they had an offshore contractor in India, surprise, that uh, was doing this stuff kind of on their own. And uh, so I, I worked with them and put together a list of things that I'd like to see them do. And they were receptive and started doing some training of their uh, uh, Indian uh, counterparts. And uh, so now they're no longer doing a, a creating a new user, making one edit, and ignoring all the emails to that, to that user. So they're, they're doing it under a single user. We've actually blocked them three times because they're still having problems. But uh, uh, we're, we're making improvements and we're, and we're moving forward. So thank you.